my beautiful buddies and welcome to a different video today. I am going to be doing a video all about finding inspiration for videos, how to get started. Um, and this will be good for any of you guys who are new to um, doing YouTube, specifically more Sims than anything else just because that's what I know, that's what I'm good at, but if you guys are just have a general gaming channel or you do other things you probably could relate to these because a lot of these tips I think are good and they will span through lots of different types of channels. So I don't claim to be an expert, um, I'm just sharing what works for me and what has worked for other people that I've noticed um, and I just thought it might be something kind of unique because I know for a fact that when I started um, I know that there really wasn't anything around um, what I was doing as far as kind of like tips on how to get started and like where to find inspiration and things like that so I figured I would do it myself and I would fill in the lines. <laughs> First of all, you gotta think, what kind of channel do you want? Um, I know we're talking about Sydney channels here, so I'm gonna go back to that. Um, but, you know, you might want to be just a channel that just straight up just does builds, you know? You don't want to do anything else. You might just want to do creative sims. You might want to do a mix of both. You might maybe be a let's player. But that's kind of something that you kind of have to think from the beginning. And also, too, um, you kind of have to be honest with yourself, too. You have to think, too. Do you just want to do sims? Or do you want to do lots of different games? Or do you want to do more, maybe, mix of lifestyle in there? Uh, vlogs? Whatever you want. You kind of have to kind of have more or less a little bit of a roadmap of what you would could see yourself doing at certain points. Um, don't feel rushed to like do everything all at once um, if you're not ready, but just have some sort of idea before you begin. It's what is your brand? What is your message? What do you advocate on your channel? Now some of you guys maybe get kind of confused on what actually a brand is, but a brand is not a logo or colors associated to your channel or any of that. They may associate to your brand, but basically it means what what do you and your channel give to, I guess, like YouTube or whatever that someone else's channel doesn't, you know? It kind of, you have an overall experience and that's what it is. Um, and also too, it kind of goes with finding your niche, you know? Um, there's channels out there for, channels out there that just do a specific niche and they really, really thrive on it just because of what they decided to pick. <laughs> and some channels don't, you know? I think you could arguably say that The Sims itself could be a little bit of a niche. But there's even niches inside that niche. I've had friends um, who just do things just based on custom content and their channel thrives and you know what and you don't have to do that you could do lots of different content you could do lots of different games personally for me I don't really limit to myself just to the sims even though a lot of my channel is that um, but you know you it kind of just have you just kind of have to be again honest with yourself with what you think you can do it is don't try the same thing and expect different results okay um now i have to admit i was guilty about this at the beginning of my youtube channel thing <laughs> and um it's really stupid, you know, because it's like you try something very similar than you have done before and you're wondering why is nothing changing why aren't people commenting or liking or tweet tweeting this or blah 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 and it's the thing is is that it might just not be interesting enough for you to post that's just simply it and you it's okay you know everyone has crappy ideas sometimes don't let it stop you also do get involved on other social media you know don't just be on youtube you know be on Twitter, be on Tumblr, you know, be on Twitch, be on Instagram, maybe, um, you know, there's so many different forms of social media, you should join them because um, when you limit yourself, you kind of don't really give yourself as many opportunities. And you know what? I have met so many unique people just on by joining Twitter. And I wasn't even going to join it at first just because um, I was just under false pretenses that it wasn't really something I would be interested in. And I was so wrong because there's so many different people and so many different interesting things that people have to say every day. And it's a different 
platform too. You could share your content. Support others' content as well, okay? This is a big one. This is a big one, okay? Because like when you're, you know, doing your promo and you're like tweeting out your, maybe your videos or whatever, don't just like share yours. Share your friends, share other people's that you think are good too, because those people might support you too. You know, and you know what? Even if they don't, that's fine. That that's totally okay. At least in my opinion, it's okay. Um, because you're you're all kind of in the same boat, you know. Um, and you know what? You might never ever know that your that your just like one sharing could like do so much to somebody, you know. So it's kind of like you have to give to receive kind of thing. Have a um, consistent schedule, but don't suffer quality. Now, um, what I mean by this is, is that, um, you know, if you can only post one day a week and it be like the, like a really great video, that's all right. You know, don't force yourself to try to do like five to seven times a week. If you really cannot handle it, um, make a small group of friends that are willing to support each other on every video. Now, this is the thing that really, really got me through, I guess the early days, um, when I literally had no one, absolutely no one, except for like me and like maybe like one other person <laughs> to like like my videos even, you know? And it's so good at that time because you really, really find a small knit of people maybe that really, really do care about your videos. Um, and it kind of goes with the whole like sub for sub thing. That, that stuff doesn't work. Get people that are genuinely wanting to watch your content and you're generally wanting to watching them too because like you know you have those people that are your friends and you comment on every video eventually they're they're gonna be the very core of your channel that sparks everybody after that comes comes to your channel because you know they're gonna see that there's someone already there and there is presence already there on your channel and they're gonna feel more comfortable to comment other people are gonna be more comfortable to talk to you on other social media and things like that and you know it may sound silly but it really does make a difference and I will really consider that if you guys are maybe in like you know in your couple hundreds or something like that because that that is really something I feel like is something really overlooked and it's kind of like you know if you can find a friend like that you should keep them <laughs> don't try to be anybody else now I know it's very very tempting to wanting to try something that works really really well especially if someone else is really popular but that role is currently being fulfilled to them <laughs> you know there's only one of you and there's only one of them you know don't try to be someone just like someone or act just like someone just for the fact that oh people might like that personality I should try acting that way so people will, you know, follow me or come at me or do whatever that stupid things. Because, like, those things aren't, like, the... Those things aren't really what make your channel. What makes your channel is you and kind of, like, how you feel about it and, like, the way you feel when you press publish. Because, um, really, that's all that really matters at the end of the day, you know? Um, of course I like, and of course I like it when other people let me know their feelings about my, you know, content, but really what really keeps me going and really feels it is the way that I feel about it and the way and the fact that I want to do it um, and I really think that you kind of have to be true to yourself or else you're not going to be happy with the content with you do and it also kind of depends too is that you can't undo content just for the sheer fact that you know you feel like your viewers just like it because if you're not enjoying it they're gonna see it and they're not gonna be like i'm out bail um put a little a little kindness goes a long way kind of you know it kind of goes along with the whole like sharing your content thing um you know if you notice that like you have other people in the community and you really really like that like their content you know would it kill kill you to say, hey, this video is really cool, I really liked so-and-so and so-and-so. Um, you know, you don't have to be petty about it, you don't have to be like one of those people that are be like, oh, I'm not gonna comment because they never commented on my video, or something silly like that, because I see that all the time, and it kind of just makes me laugh, because I don't know, I'm, I'm not a petty person, and I really do think a little kindness goes a long way, because you know what, they, they might do something good for you as well. Um, reply to your comments. Reply to your comments. Okay. Um, if someone actually like really um, 
you know, bothers to actually write you a comment, acknowledge them, at least like their comment, you know, um, say something to them. Of course, you can't reply to everybody if they say something, and if you get a lot of comments, you know, or something like that, that's great. But try to reply to as many of them as you can. You're, they, they will feel like that person is paying attention to them and they'll want to come back, you know, and I think that's a good thing that not everybody utilizes. If you really have a video and you really consider, consider it um, good, do you consider it good just because you're the one who made it, or do you consider it good because, um, you know, because you actually think it's good? <laughs> and I know this is kind of like hard to say, but like, just pretend this video wasn't made by you, would you actually want to bother watching it? if it wasn't made by you kind of thing, you know? And if your answer is no, then you should put that video into the recycling bin right now and not post it, please. Um, because if you don't even think your video is entertaining, what makes you think that, you know, Billy over here is going to watch your video and he's going to think it's good because he ain't, okay? Um, <laughs> just, just, just do that on every video and be honest with yourself because that might be one of the very reasons why you why maybe people aren't watching your video and have your dreams but have more realistic goals than anything you know don't don't think that you know um oh i'm gonna get a million subscribers by next year you know no that's not that's not realistic be honest with yourself right now you know it might be more realistic to be think you know how am i gonna get a thousand subscribers and you know maybe how am i gonna get um, 1.5 subscribers and 2k, you know, be, have like more realistic goals, um, and how you're going to achieve them, you know, and just kind of keep up with that, um, because if you don't know where you're going, um, then, you know, like it's not the journey, like it's not the destination, it's the journey, okay? What makes your channel different? Ask yourself that every single day. Um, well, not every day, but every time you post. Um, and try new things, you know? Again, don't stick with something if you don't, if it's not working. Always try new things, always evolve, always keep up with current trends, I guess I should say, and just kind of learn how to make things your own and be unique and use appropriate tags for your videos. I think that kind of goes without saying. Don't don't like tag things in when you're posting the video that has nothing to do with it. Use exciting titles. Don't just be like, let's play part something, you know? Tell me what's going on. Be Make me feel excited. Make me want to click on it, you know? You can use click point to a, a click bait to a point, but don't let it speak for the entire video. Use your commentary fun, you know? And if you don't think that you're really that great at talking to yourself for whatever minutes, you know, that's okay. Um, keep a list of things that you could talk about until it becomes second nature at you, second nature to you. Watch videos too about behind the scenes YouTube things because um, they really, really help me too. And there's people out there that dedicate their channel is to like really helping you on how to improve your channel and I really think that's a good place to start too. If you made it to the end of the video, you are awesome. Let me know down below if you like if you like these types of videos where I'm just like sitting and talking to you guys or something like that and I appreciate it all. Go follow me on all my social media down below as well as my Twitch um, and I will talk to you guys very very soon. I love you guys all so 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 much and I will speak to you soon, okay? Bye.